the Arcteryx AR patrol pads. Are they only for law enforcement and armed forces? Or are there any good for outdoorsmen, hikers and climbers? Well, we will find out in this video. Hey guys, welcome to the high ground. My name is Fabio and today we will have an in-depth look at the Arcteryx AR patrol pants. Now the Arcteryx AR patrol pant is a soft shell pant. It is more, as the name says, a patrol pant. It is not an actual combat pant, like for example the Striker from UF Pro. It is not able to have internal knee pads, but it's really more yeah, for patrolling and being outdoors. For this video, my baseline as a comparison is the Gamma AR pant from Arcteryx. It's a soft shell pant as well. And this is meant for serious mountaineering and alpine climbing. I will not go into all details of the Gamma AR pants. That's a separate video. But I will take it as a reference to really compare the Arcteryx patrol pant with this one because this one is tailor-made for alpinism and mountain sports. And this one is, as I said, from the Leaf series, but we will see if it is still any good. Now, what is the data that I actually have on this pants? I own it now since, I think, eight months. Um, currently, it is my main pant for all outdoor activities. And those range from actual ski touring uh, to hiking in the rain in the late autumn. Um, I wore it when I did an overnight 24-hour BV in one of the coldest places of Switzerland, um, building shelters, etc. So I already wore this pant a lot and this will be the basis for what I have to give you in this video. Now the first question will be <laughs> what's about the durability? Um, with all the things I said now, and I would assume that I wore it for 90 to 100 days during the last eight months or so, and I have literally no traces of wear and tear on this pant. Um, that's what I would expect from Arcteryx because they're super expensive. Um, <laughs> but still, when it comes to quality um, and durability, this pant holds up very well, at least for what I used it. Okay, now let's go from top to bottom and see what this pant is actually made of. Now, to start off with the waistline, compared to the Gamma AR pants, um, the Arcteryx um, petrol pant is uh, built a little bit differently. First of all, we still have press buttons so not proper Canadian buttons or something like that, like that. but um, we have two of them. While the standard um, mountain sport pants from Arcteryx only have one of these buttons. Um, it's an ordinary one-way zipper here. I would have loved to have a two-way zipper, um, but that's only a minor complaint. Now, Another really big difference is that the Arcteryx patrol pant does not have a belt built into the waistband. Um, all the other pants have that. Let me show that to you. You can see that here. It has a built-in belt system, which is actually quite nice. Um, the same for more lightweight versions of softshell pants. Um, don't ask me about the name. Was it the Gamma LT that I have lying in my gear shack? I don't know. Um, so, but this one has a built-in belt system. The petrol pant does not. Now, is that a good thing or is it a bad thing? It depends. If I would need to wear it for climbing, I would actually prefer a, uh, a built-in belt system because then the harness has less things that he can rub against. So um, in terms of comfort, I think whenever you wear a harness, um, a built-in belt might have a little bit the upper hand. But for anything outdoor like hunting, bivouacking, maybe also hiking, 
Um, just for being outdoor, it's of course very practical if you have the possibility to actually attach a belt to a pant. And of course for anything tactical, law enforcement use, you also want to have that. So there it's, um, it's not a clear, the Gamma AR is better or the Leaf uh, pant is better. It's really depending on what you, what you want from the pant. I would say there is a slight advantage on the side of the Arctic standard pant when it comes to climbing and wearing a climbing harness. One thing that I like a lot about the petrol pant, it has a fleece a section here on the upper part of the waist and it, this makes the pant very comfortable to wear with a heavy backpack. Um, the Gamma AR, the standard pants, also have a fleece there, but it is slimmer. So I really like that one. And um, there you can see that it is purpose-built for actually carrying loads. So whenever you're out with a huge backpack, this is the way to go. Okay, now let's talk about the pockets. As you might already assume, the tactical pants has much more pockets than the standard Alpine pant. The Alpine pant has two pockets here and here and one pocket on the side. While this pant has two front pockets, a small pocket within the front pocket, two back pockets on each side and side pockets on both legs. You can see they're closed with Velcro, we will get to that. Um, what do I think about this for climbing? Um, the standard pant has the benefit that all pockets are um, closed with zippers. So if you put your key in there, you can be quite sure that um, you will not lose it. While here you, you have an open pocket. Although the pockets are quite deep. I mean, you can see it goes down until here. Here ends the pocket. So I think if you put something in there really deep, the chances that you will lose it are also rather slim. Now, in terms of the cut of the pockets, they are a little bit wider cut, especially the upper ones, compared to the Arcteryx non-leaf pants. Um, of course, if you're working with these pants for hunting and outdoor survival, then that's a clear benefit. If I think about wearing a harness again, right? If I have something here, that might just be annoying when the leg loop of the harness goes above it. So uh, with an actual climbing pant, there is no reason to have such large pockets. Um, the same is true for the side pockets. I find them to be very well sized. Um, I like them quite a bit. They could be maybe a little bit deeper if you would actually want to put a mag in there. So a 30 round mag, of course a pistol mag you will get in there anytime. Um, they're quite spacious, so you can see they have additional an additional part uh, of fabric sawn in here so that it can give you even more space. And all in all I wore, so this was actually where I was wearing a knife during, during the hiking um, I did with this pants. And um, yeah, it wasn't um, in any way uncomfortable or um, yeah, remotely annoying. So I really like those side pockets. Now, to be honest, I'm not fully sure why they made Velcro onto them. Um, that's one of the grievances I have. Yes, I assume it's a little bit a matter of taste. Um, but I still think if you build a pseudo-tactical pant, something that you might want to wear for hunting, then why do you put Velcro on it? I mean, you don't want to have that in a tactical environment because it makes noise and you don't want to, uh, to have that when you're out hunting or something like that. I'm also not a big fan of Velcro when it comes to bushcrafting um, because at a certain point it gets so dirty that it doesn't close properly. But, um, I mean, also that's only a minor complaint. Um, the cut is very similar to the Arcteryx um, 
standard pens that you get in your outdoor retailer shop. Um, you can easily wear long underpants below them. And um, yeah, that's, that's not an issue. So as said, I wore them for winter activities. Um, that worked quite well. Now, one thing where this pant um, really differs from the standard pant is that it is built super rugged. So I just um, really looked at the thickness of the fabric and the thickness of the fabric in non-abrasive parts of the petrol pant is similar to the, um, to the outdoor pant. So um, parts where you don't have a lot of abrasion might be around this area. But anything where you really get onto rock, onto wood, on the ground, etc. is enforced here. And that's something that the standard pant does not have. Um, that might be explainable with a little bit of the fast and light philosophy that is generally behind alpinism equipment. And I don't say that this is a mistake, but again, for bushcrafting and hunting, I like the enforced parts. Now, where do we have them? Um, we have them basically down from, from the leg, down here. Um, we have them in the back, basically on all, all over the S, so you can sit down wherever you want. And we have them, funnily, around the belt line. And that's a very good idea, um, because a point where my combat pants tend to um, give up in, uh, first is always around here, where I have my pistol, etc. So, um, also for hunting, I think that's quite useful. Then further down the leg, they don't have any leg pockets, as you might uh, know them from, uh, uh, from proper combat pants. Um, and here they just have a bungee cord, where you can basically tighten the lower part of the leg. That's already it when it comes to the, when it comes to the cut and the uh, features of the pants. As said, I really like them. Um, and I would recommend them for any activities in the outdoors besides anything where you have to wear a harness. If you really have to wear a harness for it, then I would go with the standard pant. If you're doing bushcrafting, hiking, trekking, something like that, or you really don't wear the harness for a long time, right? Like for um, backcountry skiing, etc. Um, then I think that this is a very recommendable pant when it comes to the cut and the features. Now, how does this pant hold up against moisture or rain? Um, so we were in Montana for a few weeks and um, as you might expect in late, in late autumn, um, it rained a lot, so we had a lot of precipitation. And I was hiking for a full day in the rain with this pant, no overpant, and it held up gloriously. Now I have to say, at this point, the pant was very new, so the water repellent coating was also pretty new. Um, but also later, when I wore it in the snow for the 24-hour BV, um, I was kneeling in the snow when I was felling trees, etc. And I had no issue with any kind of wetness that went through that pants. Um, I mean, I'm per se a big fan of the Arcturic soft shell fabrics, as the same is uh, so also for the, for the mountaineering pants they have. Um, but this holds up against rain and moisture very, very well. Now, to summarize it, I think it's a very good pant. I'm glad that I bought it, so I'm not sponsored by Arcturix. Um, I will also in the future continue wearing this pant. I might not do it when I have to constantly wear a harness, but also there, right? If I think, for example, at mountaineering, where you're actually not hanging in the harness, but you have it with you to belay on a few pitches, but you're really more in contact with the rock. I think the sturdiness of this pant compared to the standard um, mountaineering pants from Arcturix 
really also gives it an edge there when you have a lot of contact with the rock. I will wear this most of the time and I really will really get, but that's what I already did, um, get the other expensive lightweight Arcturix mountaineering pant out of my um, gear shack when I'm really doing difficult, long, mixed routes, north faces and stuff like that, where I really want to have a specialized pure, uh, piece of gear. For anything that goes more towards an all-round usage, I will definitely wear the petrol pant. Um, I like it a lot. And in the last eight months, it became a base staple of my um, outdoor gear. Okay. So I hope you found this quick review of this pant helpful. If you have any question, please post it in the comments below. I wish I could tell you where you get um, pants from the Leaf series, but I think that's different from country to country, so you just have to look it up. I don't think that Arcturix sells them directly, but th that also might have changed. I have different ways to get to, uh, to them. So yeah. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to follow the channel, that's super important so that you get notified when we post a new video. Generally every Monday we do outdoor videos, every Thursday more tactical, tactical stuff. And yeah, I really appreciate the time you spent watching this video. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.